So first of all, before saving your song, we need to prepare a disk to save it onto. Uh, so get a, new, a brand new floppy disk and put that into your disk drive. Don't forget to take out the program disk first of all. Then go to Menu File and click on Format Disk. Instantly, you should never ever save any songs or information onto the program disk. You'll probably find that it's full up with information anyway. So this says stop formatting or delete everything on disk A. Simply click on OK because that's what we want to do. And then click on double because you always use a double disk if you can. Right, and there we go. The, the disk drive will start wearing away. And it entertains you with this pretty picture while it's doing so. If you get bored, you can always fly the little bee around. Uh, to fill in the time. This incidentally, the, it's, the, it's the pointer basically turning into a busy bee to tell you that the computer is thinking or working. So we'll skip to the end of this format now. Here we are almost near the end of the format and when it gets to the end it'll tell you how much room is on the disk. It should say 726 kilobytes. There we go. You just say thank you very much, click on the OK and that disk is now ready to be used. You can probably save, depending on the size of the song, about 10 or 15 songs per disc. So now to loading and saving. So back to menu file and click on save song. There we go. This is what's on the disc, i.e. nothing. The first thing I'm going to do is in the selection line type the name of the song. I'm going to call this one, excitingly, Tim1. There we go. You've got up to eight letters uh, to to do your title. The space after the full stop is reserved for computer jargon, in this case SON, and the computer will automatically put that in for you. Now, just before you click on OK down here, check the top of the screen to see it says Save Song. What's happening here is everything in the computer is being saved as TIM1 onto our floppy disk. So we click on OK, and there it goes. Busy B again. Whirring away. And when it's finished, it'll tell you how much room is left on the disk. So say thanks very much. OK, so loading a song, let's imagine it's the next day. You've loaded the program. Swap, take the program disk out, put the other disk in, go back to Menu File, and click on Load Song. There it is. And the name probably won't appear in there, so we'll clear the line. It'll show you all the list of your files on the disk. So click on the one you want. In this case, obviously, Tim1. Jump straight in the selection line, check the top of the screen, says, check it says load song, and click on OK. And it loads everything called Tim1 from the disk into the computer's memory. Incidentally, if you're loading things into the computer, they will always replace what was already in there.